Good morning, dear students. Once again, welcome to the class. Okay, uh, dear students. In today's class, we are going to deal with the seventh poem that is prescribed you in your textbook. The seventh poem, "If I Was a Tree." So it is written basically this poem. It is written in Kannada language uh, by the uh, one of the famous uh, Kannada poet called Mudna Kudu Chinnaswa. Okay, uh, but this uh, beautiful poem. It is uh, here we can see the translated version of that uh, uh, beautiful Kannada poem. Uh, it is translated by uh, Professor Robina Hill into uh, Kannada to English. Okay, uh, then here uh, the poem, especially uh, it is uh, especially this poem. It is focusing on the uh, theme called social social discrimination because the writer Chinna uh, Kudu. Mudna Kudu Chinna Swami. He was a uh, strong supporter of the voice of the rich, or he was the strong support for the voice of untouchables. So here we can see the uh, theme that uh, that is so uh, focused on the social discrimination. Okay. Uh, before we move towards this uh, poem, just we'll see about the uh, life story of the uh, writer, uh, basic writer, as well as the translator. So uh, this poem. Uh, seventh poem uh, was uh, uh, "If I Was a Tree." Uh, it is written by, uh, basically written by, uh, in, uh, written in Kannada uh, language uh, uh, from Mudna Kudu Chinna Swami. He had written this poem. Okay, let us see about his life story. So note on the poet in a page number fifty-six. So Mudna Kudu Chinna Swami uh, is a well-known poet who hails from. Mudnapudu village in Chamraj Nagar district of Karnataka. So, in the, uh, uh, if I was a tree, Anmanta, and the poem, and the poem, and the poem. So, in the Kannada poet, Adanta, Kavigal Adanta, Mudnapudu Chinna Swami, or over there. And it is uh, uh, the poem, it is focused on social discrimination. The Samajika Tarata Miniki and the Pratini Swanta, the Pratini Swanta, or the Kavana. And it is written by Mudna Kudu Chinna Swami. He is a well-known poet who hails from Mudna Kudu village in Chamrajnagar district of Karnataka. So, you know, Chinna Swami, you know, Karnataka, the Chamrajnagar and Mantha district, you say that you know, especially he hails from Mudna Kudu. And Mudna Kudu and Kudu and Mantha, and the Mudna Kudu and Mantha, and the Hadi in the Bandanta, you know, basically. Uh, it is in Chamrajnagar district of Karnataka. Karnataka is Chamrajnagar district. And he has two postgraduate uh, degrees and uh, MCOM, MA with a degree in social sciences too. So, as to another, if uh, studies in the now more than he has two postgraduate degrees. And in the uh, post, I have a one that in the Hicha, I think it's not a good thing for the Vienna Padanta, other MCOM or both, MA or both. And with the delit uh, in our social sciences, as she said, and here the delit means it's a highest degree from the university. The university is na on the highest degree na pardan tato, especially in the social sciences. And the samaj 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 vidyana na naam in kari tava. So other the on the special degree na pura upar koni dara na from the university and the head bo do. He is a director and a finance in uh, Bangalore Metropolitan Transport Corporation. By profession, so he is Rathi Jeevan Amanda Nordaga. He is a he is the director finance in Bangalore Metropolitan Transport Com uh, Corporation. The Bangalore na Metropolitan Transport Corporation na. So he is a director agi work karna na. Or Rathi Jeevan Amanda Nardan ka or agi to. And poet uh, is his passion, but has worked in other genre of literature as well. Besides having a wide range of Interest in culture, theater, and a social world. So, as to that, the poetry is a pa his passion, but has worked in uh, other genre of literature. And if you are a British man, you know, directly, ah, can see my mind. That is, ah, there, here we can see that poetry is his passion. And if you are on the hobby, as the reading, you know, bad the band, that too, you want to cover na, ah, richer and more that too. But it has uh, uh, worked in together genre of literature. And then, tamma the other one, how star one the shayi, that is, our tamma varavan ke na kavan ke under a chesta hota hai. So work with the work in other genre of literature. Then now no dilo, how can we? Here, here the moon na 
Mudu Chinna Swami is the strong uh, or the uh, strong voice of the uh, Dalit community. He is the strong voice of the uh, uh, the untouchables. Ne, even though Asprashiru and Tanami in Kerala, Asprashita Niti, he retired. So, our own samudaya, samudaya, the voice of the Hindu and the Hindu. And uh, Pratibhaniya, Bhaniya, Bhaniya, na it daur, and the Hindu. Poetry is his passion, but as both in uh, other genre of literature, uh, but besides having a wide range of interest in culture, theater, and a social work. As well as that, so Tamana and the Samaji Kelsegal and the Samaj the Kalyan and the Kelsegal and the Bodu, and even the culture, Sanskriti, and the Irithyagi and the generally Jagriti and the Mutsuanta Kelunat Kudana, Jotake, social work, the Samaj the Kuritagi, Samaj the Uritigagi. He has brought out 24 books so far and which include 6 collections of poetry, 4 of essays, 3 plays and a collection of short stories. Ashtar, uh, we can see, uh, here we can see that he has brought out 24 books so far. And then, uh, he, uh, he has brought out 24 books. And then, he has brought out 24 books. And then, he has brought And uh, which includes 6 collection of poetry. It includes six collections of poetry. And four of essays. And three plays and a collection of short stories. And a collection of short stories. So once again, he has brought out 24 books so far, which include 6 collections of poetry and 4 of essays and 3 plays and a collection of short stories. He is widely translated into many Indian languages apart from English, Spanish and Hebrew. So he is widely translated into many Indian languages. And apart from English, Spanish, Hebrew. And English, Spanish, Hebrew. languages translate an anthology of his selected poems in Spanish has been brought out by the government of Venezuela under a uh, world poetry series. So, I will now note both and here it is an anthology of his uh, selected poems. So, even a, you know, if you have a collection of poetry, a six collection of poetry, and then I identify my day. It's an anthology of his selected poems. And then you will be one thought, Kavitigarati, Kelu, Mukhiavadanta, Kavana Sankar Nagarata. It's a selected poems. Kelu, I don't have the I the Kundanta have on Kelu, you know, Kavana Sankar Nagarata. It may, it's so Spanish has been brought out the government of Venezuela under the world poetry series. And even though Jagatina didn't have one do Kavana Sarnagar on the Yen or Mark Pondi, world poetry. Series World Poetry Series and the name World Poetry World Poetry Series World Poetry Series and the name in the name of the name of the England na Venezuela Venezuela government and the in the name England the case is the Venezuela Trump the one to Sarkar the the money the Nakura but the Nana Nodu. So he is widely translated into many Indian languages apart from English, Spanish and Hebrew and an anthology of his selected poems in Spanish has been brought out by the government of Venezuela under a world poetry series. So it is about the basic uh, or the uh, basic writer called Murna Kudu Chinnaswami. So this is a poem, it is basically written in Kannada language. So later it translated into English. This beautiful poem, it is translated into English by the professor uh, Rovena Hill. 
So now we will see the note on the translator. We will see the uh, a note on the translator what they have given you in the text. Here. So another one, Romeo Hill was born in England in 1938. The another one is Romeo Hill was a translator of this uh, uh, poem. And Romeo Hill was born in England in 1938. So, in Rovena Hill, who even do Padida, Bashantar Karda Gidare, she translated this poem into English. Even though Sundra was in the cover of Mana, in Okanda, the English get translated. And Rovena Hill was born in England in 1938. 1938, Rovena Hill, England, and Chelsidare. And went to school in New Zealand. So, our Abidia Biasapuna, New Zealand, and Naditu. Uh, and she attended universities in New Zealand, Italy, and Indian, especially India, University of Mysore. So, uh, just, uh, she attended universities in New Zealand. Uh, so, you know, Rovena Hill, she attended universities. Where, where, uh, you know, attend all of Adhani, it is one New Zealand, New Zealand University in Bodu, Italy University in Bodu, especially even India, she visited or she attended uh, or the Indian University also, the Indian University and the Kuda or uh, attend all of especially University of Mysore and the Hilitare. So, the Mysore Vishwa Gyalaya and the Kuda in the Rovena Hill or only attend all of the notebook. She taught English literature at the University of D. Los Angeles in Merida, Peninsula. So, you know, uh, English Sahitya Banali, Peninsula, uh, uh, England, Peninsula, uh, got that University of D. Los Angeles in Merida, English Sahitya Banali, Kalstai. And uh, not only that, she has published four books of poems in Spanish. So, whatever works will not be able to note she has published four books, four, four, four books of poems in Spanish. So, only uh, on the Spanish language, uh, language uh, Spanish language, you read my there, Rovena Hilaro, on the Narco Pustak Gernante, Kavanaki Samanda, but the Narco Pustak Gernauro, publish my there. She has published four books of poems in Spanish, in the Spanish language, and in Arco, you know, Kavanaki Samanda, but the Pustak Gernana, publish. As well as poems, essays, and translations in periodicals in Venezuela, Colombia, India, and USA. As she said, very, very national, the Samanda Patanta, yes, to Kavitagana, Adava, Prabandagana, essays, and both poems, and both. So, you can translate good of Ashanta, a good man in the notebook. So, it is in a periodical, so they need the Kavitagan Rupa the day. So, in the Auro translation and the Bashanta Ravana Madida. And especially, she has published four books of poems in Spanish. And uh, as well as poems, essays, and translations in periodicals in Venezuela, Colombia, India, and USA. So she has translated some uh, some of Kannada's best known poets into Spanish. As well as Kannada Delhi, and like Kannada Delhi, which na you know, kilo best known poets and they in it. So she has to bring her to our Kavita Garna, Kavana Garna. So Garna Spanish language le kuda Spanish bhasha le kuda bhasha antara vana yero mandar hai which na daake. She has translated some Kannada's best known poets into uh, Spanish and the Hindi. And more importantly, it is to her credit that she has translated several literary works in Indian languages into English and Spanish. As that, so Mukhya Bhagi now we need to put this both in there. And importantly, it is to her credit that she has translated several literary works in Indian languages into English and Spanish. So, they, uh, you know, um, uh, especially now we know both in there. Sahitya ke samanda patta tha, you know. Uh, Mahichu Bharti of Hashigadali Danta Keru Sahiti Pratikadana, so Rain Marta Hogare, and she translated into English and Spanish. The Hichinondo, Bharti of Hashigadali Bandanta Pratikadana, who Spanish Matha English language will translate Madagana, now known both. Here also we can see that uh, the more importantly it is to her credit that she has translated several literary works in Indian languages into English and Spanish. So it is about the or the uh, life story of the uh, basic uh, or the uh, writer Murna Kuruchina Swami and the another one is uh, was the translator of this poem uh, Rovena. 
So, okay, dear students, uh, uh, before we move towards the poem, just we should have to know the, uh, uh, we should have to know on which theme uh, this poem has been written by the writer. Uh, already we know that here the basic writer was uh, Mutna Kudu Swami, is the strongest voice of the Dalit community or we can call it as a, uh, he is the strongest voice of untouchables. So, you know, Asprishyat, Asprishyat, Ayato, Asprishyat, Vantana, Vain, Karita, Vain, Aritya, Dato, Dalit, Santana, Kula, Mention, Marta, Veshto, Bari, Avandu, Padavana. So, Ahaga, Antha, Avandu, Community, Ge, Aurin, Marta, Rai, Strong, Support, Aragi, Iddan, Tau. So, here, in this poem, he writes about the age-old, he describes, the writer, he describes about the age-old custom of discrimination, age-old custom of discrimination, practice of discrimination in India, especially in Bharat, the Nidanta, and the Samajika Dharata Miriti, especially, we can call it as also social discrimination, right? Bharatiya Samajdali Sampradaya Dhani Dhanta Vandhu Samajika Taratamya Nitya Na Avru Avandhu Samajika Taratamya Nitya Kurita Yeh Hedda Hukta Rai So we can find out that the important thing we can see here Social Discrimination It is about Social Discrimination and another thing, uh, already we know that uh, he, uh, he talks about the, the, some of the caste system. Caste system could not be known to him. Especially in the social discrimination and the caste system. So, it is, uh, next, the next thing is, when he talks about caste system. Caste system deeply rooted in the uh, uh, age-old custom of uh, India and the Hedda. And not only this, he also satirizes, he also uh, indirectly he comments on the uh, theme of defilement and purification. So, even Shuddhate, Ashuddhate, Atava, you know, male varga, kheda varga, to male jhati, kheda jhati. So, he is the entire concept of the world. So, he is the concept of the world. Especially, he satirizes the, uh, the concept of defilement and purification. Hagidra, Ashuddhate, and Renu. Ashuddhate, and Renu. So, here it is that even the Samajika Tartan in it, here the defilement and the purification. So, here on the Mahatwa Vana, at the end of the day, the Yatma Kavagi, our head the Mukta. He talks about, he satirizes on the concept of discrimination or he satirizes the concept of defilement and purification and the head of the defilement and the purification. Defilement. Purification and the Hili Hedbo. So, uh, already we know that in the uh, old uh, Indian system, and the old Indian system, and now we can identify the, uh, especially how this uh, society, it is divided among the bills of casteism or uh, it is based on the, it, uh, the whole society, it divided among the bills of caste system. So now, Munchan and Udha, ke Bharatiya Sampradaya, ne, ane modali na apeli ke yadi ena gittu. So, ane samasa nuthu yavriti divide agittu. It is based on the caste system. Ane caste system ne ne, ondu samasa valna, ane division na ke, ane divajisil agittu. So, here we can find out Chatur Varnas. Ane na avili caste system anta bandha ka Chatur Varnas. Ane naalku varna kadanna, ili na unnoor bo. So, and it is, uh, um, uh, so uh, this caste system uh, it divided among the uh, work of the people. And even though Jati Gadana and the Vivajan Madhur Mulakavagi in Marta Hotare, and the Samachuana in the Vivaj Siddhana Nodu. We can call it as a Chandur Varana Sadhari Kari Mudu. One is the already we know that, uh, that the first one is Brahmana, then Shatriya, Vaishya, then Shudra, Shudras. So this four caste here represents the caste system. So it 
represents the caste system of uh, old uh, or the you know, old uh, tradition of uh, old indian tradition and the old indian tradition and bharatiya da ondu haliya sampradaya vanna naavu nodadaga alli naavu caste system anna nodtene andre jati paddhati anna naavu nodabodu so adralli specially uh, the whole society it divided among the basis of this caste and ee rityadanta brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra ಅನ್ನುವಂತಹ ಈ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಒಂದು ಜಾತಿಗಳ ಆಧಾರದ ಮೇಲೆ ಸಮಾಜವನ್ನು ವಿಭಜನೆ ಮಾಡಲಾಗಿತ್ತು ಸೊ ಬಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಹೂ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟಿಸಮ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ದ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ದ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ದ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅದೇ ಕೆಲವರು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ತಮ್ಮ ಸ್ವಾರ್ಥಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅನ್ನ ಅಥವಾ ಈ ಒಂದು ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿಸಮ್ ಅನ್ನ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಜಾತಿ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಯನ್ನ ಜಾತಿ ಪದ್ಧತಿಯನ್ನ ತಮ್ಮ ಸ್ವಾರ್ಥಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಬಳಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು and such people the such selfish people they started to exploit the uh, same people of the same society they started to exploit the uh, same uh, or the people or the same person of the same society ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ಬಹುದು ಈ ಜಾತಿ ಪದ್ಧತಿಯನ್ನ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡ ನಂತರ ಕೆಲವು ಸ್ವಾರ್ಥಿಗಳ ಜನರು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅದನ್ನ ತಮ್ಮ ಸ್ವಾರ್ಥಕ್ಕೆ ಬಳಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುದಂದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ತಮ್ಮದೇ ಸಮಾಜದ ಅಥವಾ ನಮ್ಮಂತ ಬದುಕ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಂತಹ ನಮ್ಮದೇ ಸಮಾಜದ ಜನರನ್ನ ಶೋಷಣೆಗಳು ಪಡಿಸ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ತಮ್ಮ ತಮ್ಮಂತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ತನ್ನಂತೆ ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಅಂತ ತಿಳಿಯದೆ ಸೊ ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಯನ್ನ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ಜಾತಿಯ ಆಧಾರದ ಮೇಲೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಶೋಷಣೆಗೆ ಒಳಪಡಿಸ್ತಾ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದನ್ನ ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ಬಹುದಾಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ಹೇಳಿ ಅಗೇನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಂಗ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ಯೂರಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ಜಾತಿ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಆಧಾರದ ನಂತರದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ನೋಡುವಂಥದ್ದು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಡಿಫೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ಯೂರಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಒಂದ ಇನ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದಟ್ ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೋವರ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ಜಾತಿ ಪದ್ಧತಿ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ನಾಲ್ಕು ಏನು ಜಾತಿ ಪದ್ಧತಿಗಳು ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ಕ್ಷತ್ರಿಯ ವೈಶ್ಯ ಶೂದ್ರ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಅವರ ಕೆಲಸದ ಆಧಾರದ ಮೇಲೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಭಿನ್ನವಾಗಿ ವಿಭಜನೆಯನ್ನ ಮಾಡಲಾಗಿತ್ತು ಆದ್ರೆ ನಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಒಂದು ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೋವರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ನಂತರ ದಿನಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಯ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೇಲ್ ಜಾತಿ ಕೆಳ ಜಾತಿ ಅಥವಾ ಮೇಲ್ ವರ್ಗ ಕೆಳ ವರ್ಗ ಈ ರೀತಿಯಾಗಿ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಏನು ಇನ್ನೂ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನದಾದಂತ ಶೋಷಣೆಗೆ ಒಳಪಟ್ಟಂತ ಏನು ಲೋವರ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಹುದು ನಾವು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕೆಳ ಜಾತಿ ಅಥವಾ ಕೆಳ ವರ್ಗ ಅಂತ ಏನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಸೊ ಅವರನ್ನ ಶೋಷಣೆಗೆ ಒಳಪಡಿಸ್ತಾ ಹೋಯ್ತು ಆ ಸಮಾಜ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ Uh, we can call uh, here uh, we can identify the another thing and such people such or the lowest uh, uh, lowest class people they are called as uh, the lids for um, uh, here in the modern world we call them as the lids but uh, in that time they called as untouchables ali untouchables in the kind of type so untouchables or untouchability in the kind of ಅಸ್ಪೃಶ್ಯತಾ ನೀತಿ ಅಥವಾ ಅಸ್ಪೃಶ್ಯತೆ ಅಸ್ಪೃಶ್ಯ ಇರುವಂತದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಗಮನಿಸಬಹುದು ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ರೈಟರ್ ಇ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸಾಮಾಜಿಕ ತಾರತಮ್ಯ ನೀತಿಯ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅವ್ರ ಕಾಸ್ಟಿಸಮ್ ಜಾತಿ ಪದ್ಧತಿ ಜಾತಿಯ ಜಾತೀಯತೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಹೇಗಿತ್ತು ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ಯೂರಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಈ ರೀತಿಯಾಗಿ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಲೋವರ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದ ಡಿಫೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್
I was a tree. So it is written by Murnakudu Chinnaswami. And uh, according to him, uh, writer, he says that, so being a tree is more uh, convenient than being a human being. And our head is not the same. Even though social discrimination, the Samajika Tarakamiyama, that is one of the Samajiki, and the social and the social negative, and the negative of the social negative, and the voice of the Obamanishan, and the Janisudra Badalagi, Yaudo, and the Pranyagi, or Muka Pranyagi, or the Hitchalagi, or the importance in the Kota. So being a tree is more convenient than being a human being. And in such a uh, society of uh, um, uh, social. Discrimination and our own Samajika Tarakam in the Tumbi Tumbi one have on the Samajati of a Manishanagi, Chosen Yoda the Kinta in the it is being a tree is more convenient than being a human being at the Hitler. Our Abi Pride or Hitler, Samajika Tarakam Yadanitia Yuata, Samajati, Manishanagi to the Kinta, Ali, one the Maravagi Jensidre, Adu Shiskara, like your by some of the So here the writer, uh, according to his opinion, he once again says that being a tree is more convenient than being a human being. Then he describes like this, he, he, he talks about the poem like this, he describes. So, uh, seventh poem, If I Was a Tree, written by Murnakudu Chinnaswami. If I was a tree, the bird wouldn't ask me before it built its nest. Uh, uh, what cast I am, and when sunlight embraced me, my shadow wouldn't be defied. Hagagi will head the red. If I was a tree, the bird wouldn't ask me before it built its nest. And then, if I was a tree, the bird wouldn't ask me before it built its nest. If I was a tree, the bird wouldn't ask me before it built its nest. And then, if I was a tree, the bird wouldn't ask me before it built its nest. And then, if I was a tree, the bird wouldn't ask me before it built its nest. As the same way, here the bird also. And he borrowed the Pakshi Kuruka, Haki Pakshi Kuruka, so even though Mara Yava Jati is said to another yet Yava Kuruka is said to another yet Prashna and a Marvilla. So here, if I was a tree, the bird wouldn't ask me before it built its nest what cast I am. And then Nijavagi on the Nisarta the name Ladirwantha on the Prakati and Ladirwanda on the Shoshan. Exploitation no do Yaki Manushira Nadwe there, another year Prashna Matare. So if I was a tree, uh, the bird he questions like that. If I was a tree and the bird wouldn't ask me before it built its nest. And what cast I am. Hagagi head the red if I was a tree and the Nan Mangare as a Majari Manishanagi Kupua Badalagi. So when the Maravagi would be so the bird wouldn't ask me before it went its nest what cast I am. And then Allah Margali Maravagi Hutiruaga, so Amaragali uh in Buddha and Patan the Barwantha Haki Pakshiva Yavu Buddha, Yava Kulakya, the Yava Jati is Seri Duni no Nagi, Prashna Madhuda. But man can Adri Manusha Hagi Martana and the head there. So when sunlight embraced me, my shadow wouldn't feel defied. Ashtiya the so we now uh very very jati gadana, ya and a very very dharma gana now note the hook the way. But when sunlight embraced me, my shadow wouldn't feel defied. Adre Dantha Yaude uh in a Surya Kirana Guru. So the Surya uh Bharatana Nitana, but when sunlight embraced me, my shadow wouldn't feel defied. Adre Yaudu Jan. जाती है वरना जाती है उन्होंने तो याद तो धर्म के से दोनों अंदर कारण है कि सूर्य ने बैठ को अलितार तम्य वरना मारो दिला बदला ये when sunrise embraced me my shadow couldn't feel defied अंदर ये वन दो सूर्य ने बैठ को पूरा याद दे व्यक्ति इंद्र व्यक्ति के तार तम्य वरना मारो दिला बदला ये सूर्य ने किरण गड़ो इंद्र � so if I was a tree, the bird wouldn't ask me before it built its, built its nest. 
broadcast i am when sunlight embraced me and my shadow wouldn't feel defied hage andre illi baruvanta ondu maradalli moodanna katta baruvanta pakshi nu yava kulakke yava jaatige seerdavanu anta kelodilla hage when sunlight embraced me my shadow wouldn't feel defied adre illi yenu suryana kiranagalu suryana belaku kuda surya belakanu niduvaga kuda yava jaatige seerdavanu athwa neenu shuddhanu ashuddhanu annu rithiyalli avananna yenu tilidu ಒಂದು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಜಾತಿಯನ್ನ ತಿಳಿದು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮೈ ಶಾಡೋ ವುಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೀಲ್ ಡಿಫೈಡ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ತನ್ನ ಬೆಳಕನ್ನ ಅವನು ಜಾತಿ ಆಧಾರದ ಮೇಲೆ ಬೆಳಕನ್ನ ನೀಡುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಬದಲಾಗಿ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಸಮಾನವಾದಂತ ಬೆಳಕನ್ನೇ ಸೂರ್ಯ ನೀಡ್ತಾನೆ ಅನ್ನೋದ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ and my friendship with the cool breeze and the leaves would be sweet ashte alade my friendship with the cool breeze and the leaves would be sweet adre so ee beesuva gaadi kuda alli iruvanta jaati athwa aa vyaktiyanna nodi alli snehavanna belisodilla athwa gaadi aa vyaktiyanna aa dharmavanna aa jaatiyanna nodi eno thanna aa ondu beesuva gaadi avaranna eno sparshisodilla anta helthare so my friendship with the cool breeze and the leaves would be sweet andre ali beesuvanta gaadi kuda jaatiyanna kulavanna dharmavanna nodi adu gaadi tangaali beesudilla vandagi ellarigu kuda samanamadanta enu gaadi namge prakrutiyalli sigutte anta helthare so my friendship with the cool breeze and the leaves would be sweet beesuvanta gaadi irabodu suryana belake irabodu id yavudu kuda manushyarige yavude prakrutiya yavude jeevige irabodu ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತಾರತಮ್ಯನೀತಿಯನ್ನ ಅನುಸರಿಸೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಮಾತ್ರ ಈ ರೀತಿಯಾದಂತ ಒಂದು ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸಾಮಾಜಿಕವಾದಂತ ತಾರತಮ್ಯ ನೀತಿಯನ್ನ ಒಂದು ಈ ಒಂದು ಜಾತಿ ಪದ್ಧತಿ ಆಧಾರದ ಮೇಲೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ಬಹುದು ಸೊ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಟ್ರೀ ದ ಬರ್ಡ್ ವುಡಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಮೀ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೋಟ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ when sunlight embraces me my shadow wouldn't feel defied and my friendship with the cool breeze and the leaves would be sweet so uh, dear students uh, i think uh, it's enough in this class uh, we shall uh, continue the next part of the poem in the next class okay thank you